pick a target? Yeah, just hit it out toward right at the black flag. Yeah, okay. So do you have any uh, physical issues, injuries, anything? Lots of them. Okay. What Carpal are some tunnel in both wrists. Carpal tunnel, both wrists. Right shoulder's falling apart. I've got to get it scoped again after six years. Okay. A labrum tear. Um, left knee isn't so hot after meniscus service surgery okay. last year. I was just watching how your arms work. Just, yeah. that, well, that's why I asked, because yeah. the first thing I saw is your arms do some things that yeah. look like there's probably some physical stuff going on. Yeah. I don't have a lot of uh, rotation. I don't have a lot of flexibility. I've always bent that left elbow. Uh -huh. Always, I cannot get it. I can physically do it. I can get the arm straight, but the minute the club goes, it folds Okay. for some reason. More and more every year goes by, my divots are never going at the target. I'm coming across it, I think. Okay. Divots are always left of it. My miss is a pull left most of the time. So I'm going to shoot a couple videos on my phone here so I can walk you through what I see and how we can make it better. gets worse and worse. Well, it's not going to stay worse and worse. We're going to make it better. And now when I start aiming what I think is parallel left of the target, I just pull it further left. Yeah. Okay. I got a couple videos. We can just step right up here and walk through what's going on. Quick golf. No! That's a dumb idea. Golf's fun. What else are you going to do? As you swing back, your body kind of goes into, it kind of bends this way. Okay. So instead of, if we can get your body to bend a little bit more to the left, it's going to make it a lot easier. And then as you change directions, you change directions with your hands first. So see how, what's the first thing to move? Hands instead of the lower body. Yeah, so your hands are first. And because your hands are first, they get out. So if my hands go first, they go out. That's why you pull it. So the key is we need to, we need to get your sequencing just a little better. And your, your club face is actually really open. And then you close it a lot late and hit kind of a yeah. low pull. You, you had yourself pegged right here. You swing it back, that left arm breaks down. I think we can make that a little bit better by getting the, the tilts to work better, so your, how you bend. So as you start back, because your body wants to go like this, your arms break down. If we can work on, see how I'm making this left shoulder go down and my right shoulder come up? This bend is going to make it a lot easier for you to keep your arm structure. Also a lot easier for you to turn and hit it from the inside. when you go this way, the only way you feel like you can swing from the inside is to tilt, which is why you hit it fat. Yeah. So when I'm here like this and I want to start it to the right, I have to go like that and I dump it in the ground. Yeah. Okay. So we can get you to feel like you're bent like this, now your arms can stay back and you can turn and start it on online. Okay. okay. I use both those and this one's going to go across your chest, so you're going to like hug it. Okay. Hold it like that. Okay. Now, yeah, we don't need a club. Just come over here so the camera can see you, since we're videoing this. By the way, this is Dana's dad, Hi for guys. all those who are going to be watching. Now, the idea is, as we turn, so bend into your posture. I want you to feel your, your back has a little too much arch, so stand up straight again. Now, you're going to feel like you bend from your ribs right through here a little bit. Okay. Feel what that feels like? Feel like I'm sucking my chest in my yeah, you, chest. Yeah, you're kind of doing a little ab crunch, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as you turn, I want you to feel this turn significantly steeper than that. Feel what that feels like? So now I can see your spine is bent this way, mm -hmm. where normally when you turn, you turn like this. Yeah. So feel the difference there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now turn through to the other side and make that same relationship happen. So you're going to try to click the sticks. Yeah. Good. Good. 
and get, see how I'm letting my chest come down toward my belt and then bending over a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is what you tend to want to do. You see the difference? This mm -hmm. versus this. If you just relax like this and slump, whoa. there we go. That's better. So you're just going to relax and like feel like you're slumped almost. Now you can turn really easily steep. See how easy it is to turn down like that now? A little easier. We're going to throw it on a tee. We're going to set up and really just feel like you go whoop and you're slumping over real relaxed like this. And we're just going to make some practice turns. See how my shoulders are turned? Mm -hmm. And hit a little chip shot. So our arms stay straight, chip shot. Okay? Good. There you go. Now let those shoulders feel like they turn really down. Okay? And chunk it. Try to keep both arms just long. So you're just taking this triangle here, and we're moving the triangle back and through. So it's going to feel like this. Start turning. Feel what that feels like? Mm-hmm. Now your chest is, this is aimed down, your arms are right in front of you, and then you can just undo it. Back to the ball. Good. And the triangle, back to the ball. Beautiful. Notice where the ball starts. It's going out right. Yeah, it doesn't start off to the left anymore. Yeah. Relax, round the back, round the shoulders. Beautiful. Yeah, I've known, I've, I've over the years gotten stiff, real stiff over the ball and finding myself not hitting it good and wanting to do this more and more and getting that straight back and feels like I'm putting so much tension into my body. It doesn't help. Yeah. Look any better? That, that comes from the same spot too, because you're up here and you're like... Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that looks a lot better. It's significantly better, right? Oh, yeah. You can see just by the start line, your ball's actually not, you're not hitting a pool. Your sequence has gotten better just because when you start to turn like this, now you can undo it and your arms can follow you down. When you go like this, if you just undo this, the club doesn't actually go toward the ball. The club goes this way, yeah. so you have to go yeah. and move your arms down. Yeah. And I try to do so many different manipulation things to keep it from going there. Oh, you can't. Yeah. You're putting. If more. you're going to swing like that, you might as well just drop your right foot back like this. And <laughs> yeah. Do one more like that, and then I'm going to let you add a little bit of hands into the motion, and hope we don't screw it up. Okay, good. Now, can I borrow that again? So now I want you to feel. You're going to turn back. Your shoulders are still turning nice and steep like this, but now we're going to add in a little hinge of the right wrist like this, just like a throw, okay? So you're just gonna let it set, and then from here, you're just gonna feel really relaxed and just turn out of the way. So as long as I just turn out of the way, that ball is gonna start on my line. Was much of a rich wrist cock there, was there? There was one. Let's do it in slow motion. So turn it back, really feel, concentrate on feeling the shoulders turn on that down steep angle and stop. Good. So we're going to really feel this bent. Feel yeah. what that feels like? Oh, yeah. It's... And then I want you to feel like this wrist just goes right there. So you have a, you have a little bit of mobility issues in your wrist, like I, do. I can yeah. see right there. Yeah. So that's going to make it a little tough for you. So your elbows are always going to want to fold. fold because you're looking for leverage. Because we need leverage to hit it anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. If I can't use my, if I can't use this joint, which this is the best one, if we can, let's use this one. But the next, the next one in the line is this one. Yeah. That's the second best one. Yeah. So I can hit it pretty good without. Yeah, that's about all I can bend my wrist back. For a lot of people, can go almost 80 degrees. Yeah, yeah, I have this much, and Henry, I know he has more. I've watched him do it, and it's yeah. like, oh my goodness, I can't even break my I arm. I can't even get halfway there by forcing it. Yeah. So you're never going to be able, to, you're, you're always going to need some of that elbow fold because mm -hmm. that's another source of power for you. Yeah. But we can't, we have to make sure that 
even if we fold our elbows, we're still turned this way so that okay. everything directs the momentum in the right direction. Good. Yeah, my muscle memory, my brain tells me right when I go, go to, as much as I want to make that turn, my mind just goes back to the old swing. It's just too many years of you're that. You're human. So I'm going to set a little reminder in here. So you're going to feel like you turn your shoulder, let's do a rehearsal. So feel like you're matching that. Feel that? Mm -hmm. So try to match this angle. And then go ahead and hit it. Good. Match this angle. Hit it. Now see the shot shape you got right there? We could live with that. Yeah. Good. It's really good. Now let's see if we can speed that whole system up just a little bit and it not have it fall apart. Okay. Just all we're focused on is yeah. getting that bend right. And then from there, if we want to go faster, we just get this to go out of the way right. quicker. quicker. Oh, it was that pretty. Better. Yeah, that that's really good. And it actually has a little speed in it. Yeah, that's completely different. <laughs> that's pretty good. Just striping them out there, just right at the front edge of that green. Pretty good, because you're going to turn. Yeah. You have to. If you turn in, if you turn on the wrong tilt, the wrong plane. It kills everything. Yeah, you can't turn. Yeah. You, you better turn it off and try to hit it. That's why you tried to hit it with your hands out of the top. Mm -hmm. It's because you were turned like this, and if you could move your hands down and kind of hit it, because if you actually used your body, you'd hit it way farther left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feel really slouchy, really round. Make this rehearse a backswing. So really down, good. Feel that? Yeah. And your arms can stay back as that left hip starts to go kind of around. There you go. And that's going to come from the inside. Yeah. And that's so many years of you're supposed to be. Yeah. You know, that <laughs> that thing that you always saw was okay. Oh, yeah. That's what you want to maintain. No, no, please don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that feels so much better. It's a pleasure to see the ball do that. <laughs> I agree. That's nice. Yeah, and with some altitude to it versus uh -huh. before my, you know what it was? It was yeah. Pull left. It was low. Pull and low never left. The green. Yep. Still works. Ha. Yeah. That was even me. better. You My mind was saying, here comes the big chunk. Oh, nope, it was beautiful. Ha. Look at that high draw. You're going to fly that sucker right on the green. That should be your intent, is to see that ball every time start out just slightly to the right for a while. Okay. Well, that's a good one to walk off on right yeah, there. Yeah, I think that was the best one. That's as good as it gets. Yep, right next to the pin. <laughs> well, there you go. So, for a review for you, it's just get your set up, relax. So your, your spine goes into flexion, at least your thoracic goes into flexion. Your lumbar, or your lower spine, is just flat. We can't have that arch and your shoulders pinned back like this because now you're, you're just locked. You locked yourself up. Yeah. Okay? And that allows you to turn on this steeper plane. From there, you're naturally going to be able to hit the inside of the ball. It doesn't yeah, I understand that now. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, then that's I set out to, to accomplish it, and, I, and we did. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.